Hey guys, in today's video, I will be showing you how to catch a queen ant. Enjoy! Okay, so first of all, what you're going to need is a test tube setup. The materials to create a test tube setup will be shown here. A test tube, one and a half cotton balls, two probably easier. Next, what you want to do is rinse out the test tube you want to use with hot and soapy water if you just bought it. Even if you've cleaned it before, just clean it again just to prevent any mold growth or bacteria forming. This will greatly reduce the chance of any harmful bacteria. Next, fill the test tube around halfway depending on the size of the queen you want to catch. If you got it correctly, it should look like this. Okay, now you gotta catch a queen. Queens usually fly a couple days after a rainstorm. So look out for clouds in the sky indicating that one will happen soon not always, but most of the time. And two, if you see soil being wet, then you know for sure it has rained. Keep your eye out for the next few days to see if you can spot any queens on the ground. This next part of the video will be showing you what to do when you find a queen ant. All your hard work has paid off and you finally found your queen ant and you have your test tube set up with you. But how do you get her in there? I would advise not trying to pick her up as that can easily injure a queen. The best thing to do is to place the test tube in front of her and put your hand on the side. The queens are less likely to go onto your hand but will go around it. So by putting the test tube in the path of where your, the edge of your hand is, she will most likely walk into it. If this doesn't work right away, continue to try. She will eventually go in there. Once you have your queen in her test tube, you want to put her in a dark environment that is relatively warm and doesn't have a lot of air fluctuation. Putting her in an air-conditioned room is not very good for her and sometimes can kill them. Once you have placed them in a dark room that is not in the way of an air conditioner and is at a good temperature, leave her and in about a week or so, she will have her first eggs. Try to check up on her as rarely as you can. The best thing to do in this stage is to just let her do her own thing. Checking up on her repeatedly every day is very tempting, but the best thing to do is just leave her. Imagine a queen nesting under a small rock in the wild. If you were to come to that rock every day and flip it over, that queen is going to be pretty stressed out, and she would most likely try to relocate her nest. But when she's under your care in a test tube setup, she cannot do that. So she might get frightened and eat her own eggs because she's scared. The best thing to do is leave her and check up on her around once a week. Even two weeks would be better. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching this short video. But before it, it's over, I have a question for you guys. I think I know what these are, but I would like your opinion. Have you ever walked outside and seen bees in the ground? Well, I have, and I've never looked it up, but I'm pretty sure they're ground wasp holes. If anybody knows for sure, I would be glad to accept comments on it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I would like to thank you guys because currently, as posting this, I am at 88 subscribers. Now, I would like to tell you, I've had numerous YouTube channels in the past, non at related, obviously, but this is my first ant channel, and well, None of those channels has ever hit 100 subscribers. And if I do hit 100 subscribers, I have an epic video planned that every single one of you can be part of. Well, kinda. You'll find out. As soon as we get to 100 subscribers, the sooner you'll get to know the surprise. So thank you guys so much for clicking the subscribe button. It helps me out so much. Anyways, guys, I really did hope you enjoy this video. There's gonna be no outro for this video, but... Peace out, guys. It's Antlo forever.